Hey everyone, it's Media Celebrity here, and today we've got some juicy drama to dive into. Multiplatinum singer Ashanti has finally opened up about the long-standing beef between her and Nelly's mother, Teresa Caldwell. In a bombshell new interview, Ashanti pulls back the curtain and reveals the shocking truth about Teresa's disdain for her. You're not going to want to miss this. Let's get started for those who may not be familiar, Ashanti and Nelly had a high-profile relationship back in the 2000s, the two collaborated musically and were one of the hottest celebrity couples of that era. However, their relationship was often overshadowed by the apparent bad blood between Ashanti and Nelly's mother, Teresa Caldwell over the years, there have been countless rumors and speculation about the reasons behind Teresa's apparent dislike of Ashanti. Some claimed she simply didn't approve of her son dating a fellow musician. Others suggested there was a deeper, more personal reason for the tension. But Ashanti herself has largely remained tight-lipped about the situation, until now. In a candid new interview with Entertainment Tonight, Ashanti is finally opening up about her fraught relationship with Teresa Caldwell. And let me tell you, her account is nothing short of shocking. It was just a very difficult situation, Ashanti explains. From the jump, Teresa made it clear that she did not like me and did not want me around her son. No matter what I did, it was never good enough for her. According to Ashanti, Teresa's disdain for her went beyond the typical mother-in-law skepticism. She would constantly belittle me, make snide comments, and try to undermine my relationship with Nelly, Ashanti alleges. It got to the point where I dreaded being around her because I knew I was just going to get disrespected. Ashanti goes on to reveal that things came to a head during a particularly ugly incident at one of Nelly's concerts. We were backstage, and Teresa just unleashed on me, Ashanti recounts, her voice tinged with emotion. She started yelling and cursing, saying the most vile things. I was completely blindsided and didn't know how to react. The situation, Ashanti says, left her feeling humiliated and heartbroken. She explains, here I was, trying my best to be a good partner to her son, and his own mother was treating me like dirt. It was a really tough pill to swallow. Following that explosive incident, Ashanti admits that her relationship with both Nelly and his mother became increasingly strained. Nelly tried to stay neutral, but I could tell it was putting a huge strain on our relationship, she confesses. And Teresa, she just doubled down on her hatred towards me. It was like she was on a mission to make my life hell. Ashanti reveals that Teresa would often try to turn Nelly against her, feeding him negative information and accusations. She'd call him constantly, telling him I wasn't good enough, that I was using him, that I was going to hurt him, Ashanti says. It got to the point where Nelly started to believe her, and that really broke my heart. Eventually, Ashanti says, the tension became too much to bear. I reached a point where I just couldn't do it anymore, she admits. The constant fighting, the disrespect, the feeling of never being good enough, it was just too much. I had to walk away, for my own sanity. Ashanti's decision to end her relationship with Nelly, she reveals, was directly tied to her inability to reconcile with his mother. I loved Nelly with all my heart, but I couldn't continue to be in a relationship where his own mother was trying to sabotage it at every turn, she explains. It was simply too toxic, and I had to prioritize my own well-being. Looking back on the experience, Ashanti says she wishes she had spoken out sooner. I think a lot of people assumed I was just this meek, docile girlfriend who couldn't stand up to Teresa, she says. But the truth is, I tried, time and time again, to reason with her, to find some common ground. But she was just relentless in her hatred towards me. Ashanti's advice to others in similar situations is to not be afraid to advocate for themselves. You have to be willing to stand up for yourself, even if it's against your partner's family, she urges. Your mental and emotional health has to come first. Don't let anyone, not even your significant other's loved ones, treat you with disrespect. In the end, Ashanti's revelations about her tumultuous relationship with Nelly's mother serve as a cautionary tale about the power dynamics within blended families. It's a stark reminder that even the strongest of partnerships can be torn apart by the interference of overbearing in-laws, but Ashanti's willingness to finally share her side of the story is also a testament to her strength and resilience. By speaking her truth, she's not only providing closure for herself,
but also offering hope and inspiration to others who may be facing similar challenges in their own relationships. So there you have it, folks, the shocking truth about Ashanti and Nelly's mother's long-standing beef. It's a complex and emotional story, but one that serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of setting boundaries and prioritizing our own well-being. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. That's all for now, everyone. Be sure to let me know what you think about Ashanti's revelations in the comments below. Did you have any idea about the extent of the tension between her and Nelly's mother? I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Until next time, take care.